It matters not a jot to my high and mighty mistress if my harness is in tatters, if my brigandine is battered, if my burgan is just shattered and the vines are on the turn. She oozes into damson shoes and smooths her blue chemises as she chooses Chinese chintzes for conservatory curtains. I'm certain that it matters not that I'm the one who winces, who must greet walloons and Frenchies and distinguished foreign princes dressed in unpressed pantaloons. She chatters with her shitsus while she slices up some quinces and she sugars them like bilio and mutters that her hair is so delightfully augmented by these henna-laden rinses which she orders through a most convincing con man from Rangoon. If I mention to my mistress that my harness is so tattered and my brigandine is battered and my burgonet is dented and the grapes are all fermented and I couldn't give a shit about her gorgeous Chinese chintzes, her shih tzus and her quinces and the henna-laden rinses, but I stress that my success depends on wooing all the princes, which is difficult with creases in your sobbing pantaloons. I mention this to her, my lady swoons. My husband eats a lot and is constantly complaining that his harness is in tatters or his brigandine is battered or his burgonet is shattered or the vines are on the turn. He does not like my dams and shoes. He loathes my blue chemises and my gorgeous Chinese chintzes. He would rather have no curtains. My husband really eats a lot and I'm the one who winces when he greets Walloons and Frenchies and those slender foreign princes lest he burst his pantaloons. He dragged me from the city to these horrible provinces where I'm finding that the air is so destructive to my hair so it needs to be augmented by these henna-laden rinses which I order through a most obliging young man from Rangoon. If I mention to my husband that he couldn't get much fatter, he gets crazy like a hatter and it's driving me demented and this marriage is lamented and the reason that I'm partial to my gorgeous Chinese chintzes, my shih tzus and my quinces and my henna-laden rinses is I couldn't give a shit about his wooing all the princes while his stomach is increasing in his sodding pantaloons. I'm married to the greatest of buffoons. My it matters not a jot to my high and mighty mistress if my harness is in tatters, if my brigandine is battered, if my burgonet is shattered and the vines are on the turn. She oozes into dams and shoes and smooths her blue chemises as she chooses Chinese chintzes for conservatory curtains. I'm certain that it matters not that I'm the one who winces in his Greek balloons and Frenches and distinguished foreign princes dressed in unpressed pantaloons. She chatters with her sheets as she slices up her princes and she shivers them like bilio and mutters that the hair is so delightfully augmented by these henna-laden rinses which she orders through a most convincing con man from Rangoon. If I mention to my mistress that my harness is so tattered and my brigandine is battered and my burgonet is dented and the grapes are all fermented and I couldn't give a shit about her gorgeous Chinese chintzes, her sheetses and her quinces and her henna-laden princes, but I stress that my success depends on wooing all the princes, which is difficult with creases in your sodding pantaloons. I mentioned this to her, my lady swoons.